Hello, David R. Becker here with Becker Art, and today I'm going to talk to you about a little project I put together. This is um, a artist sketchers survival kit. Um, I put this kit together. I'm going to keep it in my car, so anytime I'm out there sketching, and um, I figure there's always stuff I need. And um, here's the things I need when I'm out sketching, or if I'm out sketching, let's say I get lost for a week. And I have to <laughs> survive in the wilderness, and I'm going to be sketching. Well, the first thing, of course, I need is my phone. Um, that's the most important thing for an artist who goes out there. Um, because it has my camera, it has my communications and everything. So definitely want to get your phone, I mean, your smartphone, because there's so much you can do with a smartphone nowadays. With the, um, It's basically a computer in your pocket. So, But let's say um, this thing starts going low on um, energy. Well, I have this thing I put in there. This is a solar charger so I'm gonna have that with me so that I can always charge it when I'm out there um, so I can get those pictures those great pictures I'm gonna take when I'm out there and so that I've got the charger also I've got the the cable to power it up if I need to power that up and I do have electric if I have electric somewhere and a lot of times you always have find electric somewhere in out there and for that I also have a, a little extension cord so you never know how far away you gotta be to get that extension cord and also, I put inside there, I'll just plug this into the extension cord, is the one with the two-prong, because a lot of times you'll be out there and you just need the two-prong and you can't have the three. So I have that in there. I'm just going to apply that in there too. So that's basically for the phone. And then when you get away from the phone, um, we're going to go with the sketching things. And that would be my palette. My, my palette that has everything in it. This is my little palette with my paint. And as you can see, um, it opens up, and inside it has a little water container um, with two little cups that you put on the side of the of the palette. And I have actually 12 colors here, six and six, 12 colors, and these are Holbein colors, so they don't dry out. So I've got a good array of colors for me doing my sketching and painting. And also this tray, look at this, this pulls out right here. Look how big this thing gets. And then I put my little thumb in there, and you hold it, and you put your water bottles on the side. This one goes there. Put that down there for now. But see, there's my palette. And then also what you're gonna need is a sketch sketchbook. Sketchbook that preferably has uh, media paper, like wet media paper, and maybe just sketching paper. There is one that's out there, there's two, or here I have my Stonehenge. Um, Stonehenge, I do have some clips on here, which I always keep clips available. So the clips, um, I put on my Stonehenge, but here as you can see, here's just a little, little sketch pad. And this sketch pad that Stonehenge puts out, this is um, this is a hot press, but I kind of like it because it's almost like sketching paper, but it also is a, like a wet media, so I can actually do a little watercolor on it too. As you can see, I just did a little bit of watercolor just to test the paper, and I really like the paper a lot. So that's the Stonehenge paper clips. You can always use clips out there. You never know what you need a clip for, but it's always good to have the clips. And another thing you always I have to have, um, the older you get, I need my reading glasses. And so I always have one on me, but I'm going to put an extra pair in this case of mine so I don't ever lose that. Put this back together here real quick. Open this up. Oh, hold on there. Open this up. and So again, this is my palette. You can find all kinds of different palettes. Go, on, go online and see what you can find for the best palette. So that's a palette. Also, I have a little sponge. I have one of these sponges with a little coarseness on the one side, so I can scrub a little bit, and then just to, for um, when I have this together with my my palette. Another thing you're going to need is a knife, and actually, of course, the Swiss Army knife is definitely the one you want um, because it has everything, and especially needing the corkscrew because you never know when you're out there and a bottle of wine comes at you, and you need to open it. And <laughs> we've had that happen a lot in our classes. So um, you have the wine opener, you have the screwdriver, and all that kind of stuff, and of course the knife. I like to have this little utility knife also. Utility knife is good to have just because there's so many things you can do with it. So that's the one thing I have. And that's, this is for sharpening my pencils also. Sharpening my pencils with either one of these knives is, I don't even have a sharpener. Of course, and there's the brushes part of the painting. So I have my six brushes that I always carry with me. But again, this is all extra. This is all I'm gonna keep in my car just in case I need it. Um, and when I'm out there and all of a sudden I need to, I see something that I want to have, I have to paint, I'll have this all stuff available. So there are the six brushes I use. Um, you use whatever brushes you like. Here are all the pencils and pens. Um, I have a, oh, sorry about that. Here we have this really big um, lead, thick lead. 
little mechanical pencil. It's called a Fat Boy. I actually got this at Menards. This is actually for contractors, but as you can see, you can just um, draw pretty thick. It's thick lead, so you can just do a nice sketches, big thick sketches. Then we have uh, my a pen. Of course, you're gonna need a pen. Then I have my white pencil. This I showed you a lot not too long ago about how to do um, use this with white and use it with water. You can put the little white. It's almost like a watercolor pencil. This is a thick piece of graphite. The thick piece of graphite is always good just for sketching on your sketch pad also. Mechanical pencil to draw your, drop your sketch that you're going to paint later. I also have this. This is, um, this is actually a pen, but it also is the, um, for your phone. A little stylist for your phone if you need to, you know, use your phone to do something with it. So we'll leave that by the phone over here, the stylist. And of course your Sharpie, which you need always time, because the Sharpie just is something every artist should have. All right, so that's with the that's with the painting part of the end of it. Now, this other stuff is just to have, just because you never know what happens out there. The MacGyver part or the McBecker part that um, always have some duct tape. You know, when he uses duct tape all the time, so get yourself some duct tape. I use white duct tape, so that way um, I can use it for whatever. You never know. Maybe it starts raining, and so I have two black trash bags, and I put rubber bands around it. So if I ever need rubber bands, but I have these two black um, for the garbage. If you find garbage or or if it starts raining and you need to make yourself a little poncho, you know, just put a hole in the top and put it over yourself. Or if you have all this stuff and it starts raining, just throw it all into the plastic bag. So get yourself a plastic bag in there. 10W40, WD40 I mean, <laughs> not the, no, no, no 10W40, that's oil. This is um, WD40 and of course you use this for everything. Look on Facebook and see what you can use this for. You use it pretty much for everything. Um, but I always have a little can of that in there just because. And then um, with the water, I just have a small bottle of water, and actually I can put this small bottle of water inside this little thermos, which is a Campbell soup um, thermos, but this one actually even has a cup, so now you never know out there and you need to have a cup. So this is a great cup, and this is the thermos, and I can put this water inside there like that, so whenever I need it, it's still fresh. So definitely want to get yourself a thermos, some kind of thermos, drinking thermos. I like this one because it has a little cup. I think it's, for, it's a Campbell soup um, thermos. And again, bottle of water, fire. Okay, you're always going to need fire sometime, or sooner or later you're going to need fire, or something to do with fire. So I have this little. It's almost like a lighter, but it has a little torch on the end, so you can just use it to whatever. You never know when you're going to need something like that. And um, oh, I forgot the. Um, oh, I got to keep on going here. Um, here we have. Um, I'll put that on my keychain usually, as um, for measuring, measuring tape. You always lose your measuring tape. And I know you also lose your um, flashlights a lot, but that's where your that's where the phone comes in nowadays. You just use the phone as your flashlight. But also, um, it's great to have um, a measuring tape. I think there's an app out there too, also for your um, like a, for your phone for measuring. But I always like to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a um, measuring tape with you. Um, then, of course, you need a rubber eraser. You can do all kinds of things with it. Just besides racing, erasing, you can do all kinds of things. It's almost like a Play-Doh thing. So you never know what you can use that for. It's another MacGyver or MacBecker thing you can use for something. And of course, uh, the tissue paper when you need to blow your nose. <laughs> Actually, you can also wipe things up and stuff, and that's that's cool. And um, here, oh, I forgot this. Also, you want to get yourself some floss. Floss is almost like rope, a little bit of rope. You can um, do that to tie things up, or if your rubber bands on how you can just wrap it around stuff. So definitely some floss you want to put on your in your kit. And the final thing I think I have here is the um, super glue. You never know when you're going to need super glue. I just have you know you can get these little tubes. That I don't have to put them all in there. This is brand new, so I just what you can do is just take one or two out and stick it in here. And this all will fit in almost like a fanny pack. But I just have a um, backpack. I've got this backpack. Got this backpack right here, and it's gonna put it all in there. I'm gonna leave it in my car. I've got the backpack. You can get a good backpack at a Goodwill or a resale shop for about three bucks, three or four bucks. Put all this stuff in there. And you're always be prepared to go out there and sketch and whatever. You never know what happens when you're out there sketching. But that's my little tip for this week. Um, have fun. You can probably put other things in there as you go along. I'll probably be putting other things in there. But I'm always gonna have this in my car, ready to go whenever I need to go sketching or whatever. All right, so thanks a lot for listening. Um, make your own backpack and let me see it. Um, email me at david at davidrbecker.com and um, go to my website at davidrbecker.com also. All right, so thanks a lot for watching. Bye.